this video, I'm going to show you the basic baking essentials that you need as a beginner. And I will also identify every of these items so that you will know what they are all used for. So that whenever you come across them, you will know when and how to make use of them. Welcome to Sweet Admira. This is Kansi here with Sweet Admira. Sweet Admira is where we provide our clients with custom made cakes and desserts from scratch. If you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel. And do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you know when I put out any new content. As a beginner in baking, you'll be required to have some basic baking essentials, right? So what I'm about to show you today are some basic essentials that is required of you to have so but you shouldn't be limited by these but of course these are just the basic and if you have the money to get more more stuff as you go then free free to do that to buy more stuff that you require but for a start this is just the basic that you need so i would really advise that you stick with this basic until you get used to the skills and be able to handle stuff without being under pressure then look you can decide to go wild but don't be as wide as buying everything you see in the market. Just always make sure you are, you know, being mindful of the things you're buying. Make sure you are buying just what you need. Now, this is the stand mixer. You use it to mix your cake butter. It comes with different um, attachments. So, and the different attachments are used for different things. This is the balloon whip attachment. You use it to whip up your buttercream. And this is the pedal attachment. You use it to mix your cake butter. This is the dough hook. If you want to make bread or any form of dough, you use this. So, if you are not able to get yourself a stand mixer for a start, you can decide to go with um, the uh, hand mixer. I mean, you can start with the hand mixer. So, this is the sieve or strainer, whatever way you prefer to call it. You use it to sift your dry ingredients, your flour, your sugar, so that they can be free of uh, lumps and to give you a very smooth um, uh, uh, powder or dry uh, ingredients. These are the mixing bowls. You have the option to use whatever type you prefer you can use the glass type or the stainless steel type i mean the choice is yours go ahead and use whatever type you prefer they are all the 
will all give you the same I mean result just use it to miss your butter these are the cake pans they come in different shapes and sizes so depending on the shape or the size of cake you want to bake so you can use whatever shape or size you prefer these are the measuring cups and the measuring spoons depending on the quantity of what you are trying to measure out that will determine the size of the measuring cup or the size of the measuring spoon you would use so they are basically used to measure out your food items this is the stainless steel scraper and the plastic smoother you use this to smooth to bring a to give a smooth finish on your buttercream icing in other words you use them to ice your cake to bring it to a very smooth finish these are the spatulas they come in different forms they you have the silicone spatulas and the wooden ones even the plastic ones so i mean the choice is yours to use whatever one you prefer so and they also come in different sizes so they are used to scrape to scrape down these are the stainless steel spatulas you use them to ice your cake um this is the offset spatula and the other the straight one is of course the straight spatula so you use it to ice your cake so this is the whisk you use it to beat your eggs or even miss your dry ingredients to fully combine this is the serrated knife you use it to level your cake before icing and stacking it now this is the turntable very important to have the turntable it helps you to create a very smooth finish on your cake when icing it or even when you want to level your cake you need a turntable to be able to do a good job so this is the skewer you use it to check if your cake is ready when it is in the oven when your skewer comes out if your skewer comes out clean it shows that your cake is ready but if your skewer comes out with some butter on on it it shows that the cake still needs more time to be done so you watch out for this as a beginner always make sure that you have your timer on is very important because it will help to monitor your uh, cakes or whatever thing you are baking in the oven from burning when you are maybe very busy and doing something else the timer would always remind you i mean when your stuff is ready the timer will remind you instead of you getting your big goods burnt this is the cooling rack a must i mean you must have it you use it to cool down your cake when brought out from the oven you want to cool it down before you start working with it this brings me to the end of the video i hope you like it and i'll see y'all on the other side thanks and god bless